Several exciting plans for the rundown and abandoned Ridpath Hotel in downtown Spokane. The only thing, though, it seems we have been able to count on is the process to revive the building failing. Well, KXY 4's Katie Curry working for you with the latest update. And Katie, there may be a, a minor breakthrough now for developers. Well, Nadine, developer Ron Wells has been trying to revive this building for some time now, but over the last few months, he's been stalled by investors trying to buy him out. It's been almost a year since KXLY was invited inside the Rid Path. This area will be a uh, coffee bistro uh, wine bar. Developer Ron Wells gave us a tour and spoke about his exciting plans for the vacant building's future, turning the hotel into affordable studio housing. The location is phenomenal right in the middle of everything. In the months after that interview, the project stalled. Wells nearly lost the project to another group of investors. But recently, there's been a small victory for Wells. Wells had been caught in the midst of a bidding war with another developer, but it seems after they missed a series of payment deadlines, Wells may now be able to buy all of the abandoned hotel's remaining units. Nobody wants to see the Rid Path open more so than local businesses. More specifically, this location right here on the corner of First and Howard. The observatory is the third bar to be open at this location in the last three years. Downtown seems like it's kind of starting to blow up. People who have loved this bar in, in the past have been excited to see it reopen. Despite the misfortune of the bars that have come before them, the observatory hopes to outlast them all and know the Rid Path could help aid in the success. I think it would make a huge difference for us um, and for the whole block. It would just kind of like um, create a buzz around us. But the new business knows better than to base their future on the Rid Path's history. It was considered, but um, it's been kind of vacant for so long that we didn't really count on it. Now, I spoke with Ron Wells not long ago, and he told me that he plans to be back in court on February 10th to buy the remaining units of this building, and then hopefully we'll start to see some progress. Reporting live in downtown Spokane, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.